Hey guys, John here at the Mishimoto Garage. Today we're going to be installing the Mishimoto Baffled Oil Catch Can Kit for the PCV side for the 2016 Plus Mazda Miata. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. And check out our blog for updates about new product development on the Mazda Miata ND. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include two and a half millimeter Allen key, eight and 10 millimeter sockets, 10 millimeter universal swivel socket, six and 12 inch quarter drive extensions, quarter drive ratchet, T25 Torx, 12 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter deep socket, three eighths drive ratchet, 11 16 inch ratchet wrench, flathead screwdriver, a pair of dykes, and hose clamp pliers. Install time is about an hour and a half, and install difficulty is a three out of five. Although not necessary for this install, we are removing the intake manifold to show you what you will feel around the intake manifold if you opt not to remove it. Both this kit and the stock setup do not require clamps, so you can reach around the intake manifold to remove and install everything. If you want to use clamps, you will need to remove the intake manifold. Loosen the intake boot clamps using a 10 millimeter socket. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the vacuum line that connects the intake boot to the top of the block. Using a hose clamp removal tool, remove the clamp connecting the intake boot to the noise generator hose. Now, remove the boot from the intake and throttle body. Now you want to remove the electrical clip for the throttle body. Push down on the tab to remove the clip. Now let's pop off the plastic engine cover. Pull up on the rubber grommets. Remove the clip from the top of the solenoid, which is located on top of the intake manifold. Next, remove the 8mm bolt that holds the solenoid housing to the intake manifold. Remove the two T25 Torx screws that hold the emissions component to the top of the intake manifold. Remove the valve out of the rubber grommet. Remove the entire assembly and put it aside. On top of the manifold, remove the 8mm bolt connecting the fuel return line. With your flathead screwdriver, pop the clip on the fuel return line. Make sure to have a rag ready underneath it for any leaking fuel. Also, have a couple zip ties ready to tie the line out of the way. Then, zip tie the other line out of the way as well. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the two tree clips that hold the wire harness to the intake manifold. Using needle nose pliers, remove the vacuum line going into the back of the manifold. Remove the five 10 millimeter upper bolts holding the intake manifold to the engine. We strongly suggest that you use a magnet for the bolts so you don't lose them when removing them. Lift up your Miata with either a jack and jack stands or a lift. Remove the lower 10 millimeter bolt connecting the intake manifold to the engine. From underneath your Miata, Cut the zip tie connecting the wire to the intake manifold. Be careful not to cut any electrical wires. Detach the two clips from behind the intake manifold. Remove the four 8mm bolts that hold the throttle body to the intake manifold. Now you're ready to fully remove the intake manifold from your Miata. When removing the intake manifold, you will have an electrical clip here, another clip here. You'll have a sensor plug right here, and another clip right here. Then you'll have this hose right here. This is the hose you are going to be replacing with the Mishimoto Baffled Oil Catch Can. Pretending that the intake manifold is in the car, if you reach down into your car, this is the hose that needs to come off. This can be removed without taking off the intake manifold. Both ends just pop off. They won't have clamps on them since they are not under pressure. So when you install the Mishimoto Catch Can, the inline will come from the motor and the outline will go to the intake manifold. You have two Mishimoto hoses here. The ends of the hoses without the Mishimoto logos are going onto the intake manifold and engine block. The hose with the 90 degree bend is going onto the intake manifold port, while the straight hose without the Mishimoto logo is going onto the purple nipple on the side of the motor. If you decide to take the intake manifold off and you want to clamp the hoses on, this is the time to do it. 
Otherwise, if you didn't take the manifold off, you can just slip them onto the ports that were previously specified. Connect the straight hose to the purple port. Route the hose to where the catch can is going to sit, as shown here. If you decide to clamp the hose down, this is the time to do so. Mishimoto has supplied the worm gear clamps, but they aren't needed unless your system is under pressure. In other words, if you've installed a turbocharger or other force induction system. Connect the hose with the 90 degree angle to the intake manifold. If you decide to clamp the hose down, this is the time to do so. Now, let's reinstall the intake manifold into your Mazda Miata. You'll see locator holes when installing your intake manifold, so it should drop in easily. Reconnect all the electrical sensors on the side of the intake manifold. Make sure that the electrical connection is routed and connected near the throttle body as well. Tighten the six 10 mm bolts connecting the intake manifold to the motor. You'll have five 10 mm bolts on the upper and one 10 mm for the lower. Using the four 8 mm bolts you removed earlier, reinstall the throttle body back onto the intake manifold. Reconnect the throttle body clip. You should hear it click into place. Using a pair of dykes, carefully cut the zip ties that held your fuel return lines up in the air. Connect both lines back together. Snap it back into place. Reconnect the bracket into place using the plastic peg, as shown here. Reconnect the solenoid into the orange rubber grommet. Clip the wire looms back into place. There are a total of two clips. Reinstall the 1 8 mm bolt holding the solenoid onto the intake manifold. Then, reinstall the 1 8 mm bolt holding the bracket for the fuel return line. Next, clip the electrical connector back into place. Tighten the two T25 Torx screws holding the emissions component on top of the intake manifold. Using needle nose pliers, reattach the vacuum line going into the back of the intake manifold. If you do remove the intake manifold and you cut the zip tie from underneath your Miata, Mishimoto has provided you with an extra zip tie to tie off the electrical harness as shown here. Using an 11 16 inch wrench, install the two Mishimoto provided plastic fittings onto the catch can. Using an 8 mm Allen key, remove the port on the bottom of the catch can. Using an 11 16 inch wrench, Install the lower port onto the opening on the bottom of the catch can. Using the two provided Mishimoto M4 bolts and washers, install the bracket onto the catch can. Be sure to orient the bracket as shown here, with the bump pointing down. Use a 2.5mm Allen key to partially tighten both bolts on the bracket. Remove the 10mm nut that connects to the ECU bracket. Then, remove the 14mm nut that attaches to the strut tower. The third remaining hose in your kit is for the drainage port on the bottom of the catch can. Go ahead and connect that hose now. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the pop clip on the driver's side inner wheel well. Install the catch can in your Mazda Miata while feeding the drain hose through the wheel well. Reinstall the 114mm nut that attaches to the strut tower. Then, reinstall the 110mm nut that connects to the ECU bracket. Using your 2.5mm Allen key, make sure the two M4 bolts and washers on the catch can are tightened before you proceed. Install the hose with a 90 degree bend in it to the in port on the catch can. This will be the hose that connects to the purple nipple off of the engine. Install the hose with the straight, shallow section to the out port on the catch can. This will be the hose that connects to the intake manifold. Just to recap, the hose with the 90 degree bend goes into the in port on the catch can, and the straight hose goes onto the out port of the catch can. The in hose goes to the purple nipple that comes off the engine block, while the out hose goes into the intake manifold. Install the two Mishimoto provided tree clip zip ties and wrap them around the drain valve as shown here. Make sure they are facing the same way. Attach the two tree clips into the Mishimoto provided bracket as shown here. Remove the 12mm brake line bolt from the inner wheel well. Connect the drain valve to the drainage hose that connects to the catch can. 
Go ahead and reinstall the 12 mm bolt. Be sure that your valve is in the off position at a 90 degree angle as shown here. Reinstall the pop clip that was removed earlier. Go ahead and reinstall the engine cover. Then, reinstall the intake boot. Using your hose clamp removal tool, reinstall the noise generator hose onto the intake boot. Tighten both bolts that hold the intake boot in place. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto baffled oil catch can on your Mazda Miata, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your ND for a test drive. We recommend checking the contents of the can every thousand miles until the baseline is established. Oil blow-by accumulation will depend based on ambient conditions and the way you drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.